Storytime with Mrs. Caitlin. Halima's First Ramadan in Quarantine by Aisha Saad. This Ramadan is different from past years. In other years, a man called the Masaharati walked the streets before Fajr, banging a loud drum to wake all the families for Suhoor. This year, the street remains quiet, and Mama wakes Halima for Suhoor instead. In other years, all the cousins and uncles and aunts and grandmas and grandpas crowded around a big table to have iftar together at Maghrib time. This year, the tables are smaller and families eat at home instead. In other years, long tables were set out in the street and meals were placed side by side for all the people who didn't have enough food to eat at home. This year, the meals are wrapped up in parcels and delivered by kind volunteers to every doorstep instead. In other years, Mama and Baba and Halima would wash up after iftar, drink tea and jump into the car to drive to the masjid for taraweeh prayers. This year, Mama and Halima pray behind Baba in the living room instead. In other years, friends gathered in person on the weekends to share big, noisy, fun iftars. This year, they meet on the computer and on the phone instead. But this Ramadan is also the same as past years. This year, just like past years, Halima makes decorations for the start of Ramadan. She strings tiny lights, hangs colourful garlands and displays lanterns of different shapes. This year, just like past years, Mama and Baba go without food or water from sunrise to sunset. Halima is still little, so she fasts from morning to noon. When she feels hungry or cranky, Halima goes for a bike ride or reads a book. This year, just like past years, Halima watches the moon change as the month of Ramadan goes by. The moon starts as a thin sliver, grows to be full and round, and fades again into a sliver. This year, just like past years, Halima lies in bed on the last night of Ramadan, excited to wake up to Eid day. She dreams about the special prayers, festive breakfast, and surprise gifts. This year, just like past years, Halima and Mama and Baba make dua, thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the many, many blessings he has given them. And this year, they add a dua for all the doctors and nurses and workers who have served their communities and kept them safe during this special month. Barakallahu feek for listening.